Greetings, fellow survivors. Where are we? What are we? Is this hell? Purgatory? Could this be... heaven? No, it's none of those things. It's MCTV Local 13, and up next is Sketchbook Dissections. Enjoy. Arenas. Welcome to Sketchbook Dissections. I'm one half of Machina Corpse, Stephen Emond. I'm a comic artist, published author, YouTuber extraordinaire, and I'm currently working on my webcomic Have Heart, which you can find on haveheartcomic.com. It's spooky and it's weird and it's free. So today we are looking at an old ledger. Now the cool thing about ledger art I first kind of got into it a few years ago when artist Scott Fisher was doing Inktober and he was doing these beautiful um, acrylic ink paintings in these old ledgers. So I kind of started reading about it because it had a cool look to it. Like ledger paper, apparently paper done like before a certain point in the early 80s was just a better quality. It could take ink and it was smooth and nowadays I guess they use cheaper paper um, it just kind of spreads and sinks in and goes through to the next page but these old ledgers have this really cool paper and the weird thing is, is if you look at just the paper itself it's got lines a lot of old ledgers have writing in them and, and they're like um, booking ledgers and and all these different weird things that have writing and maps and unlike stuff in it except you paint over it and it creates this kind of cool aesthetic so i did a little bit of ledger art circa like 2015 2016 and i thought i'd uh take a look through it with you standard blank book number 66 i don't know if i ever got a date on when this is from our first piece um i had asked a friend of mine like what should i draw i wanted to practice with these inks with these um, acrylic inks. I basically wanted to recreate what Scott Fisher was doing because he did this cool art. And I was really into the idea of using white acrylic ink to kind of block out all these lines in the background. You can kind of see through and see the ledger over here and then you kind of paint to uh, obscure some of the lines in the background. Um, now I was still kind of learning like it, it wasn't as opaque as it was in Scott Fisher's drawings, like his just looked like paint almost. And I actually wrote him on Instagram and I was like, how did mine just look like watercolors and it's shaking up really good, so. Okay, October 15th, 2016. This is in New York, apparently on Petrosino Square. Um, I was really into urban sketching at the time, like 2016, 2017 were my prime urban sketching years so I would just go out places with a book like this and, and um, paint what I see. Here's another one. I think I was with my friend Elaine. I don't remember what we were doing. We might have been in New York to see a Chris Gethard show. I wonder if that's this date here in 2016. Oh, who's this little guy? It's a little critter. He's a hedgehog or something. That's kind of cool looking. This one I, I painted some white and then just uh, used some ink over it, but it's got kind of a cool effect there. Here's another urban sketching at the uh, Book Barn in Niantic, Connecticut in October. Uh, I remember sitting there with my friend Ruth. Um, this is when we first became friends. I, I kind of introduced myself and went over and sat by her and we sat and drew together, which is something we did um, a lot over the next year. This place is cool. So the Book Barn, if you've never been, as I imagine a lot of you haven't, if you're not in Connecticut especially, it's like an actual barn. There's actually several barns over this big property and there's just books everywhere. Books and cats and she, um, not sheep, sheep, goats 
and <laughs> books, cats, and goats um, just everywhere. And it's so cool. It's like all outdoors, indoors. I've sold a lot of books to them. Um, just get stacks of books for like a dollar each. Um, it's awesome. Here's Mario. Here's Mario shake of his fist. Looking angry. Pissed off Mario. More urban sketching with uh, Ruth out in Middletown. This is right by where I used to live. The Connecticut River is there and the big Aragoni Bridge and lots of cool stuff to draw there. Crescent Street and Union Street. Is that the same day? October 30th. October 30th, okay. This is um, that same day. I must have finished early and did some more drawing. And this would be a cool picture and I'm getting the hang of these acrylics and the inks. The, the blue is great. The blue and the white are really good. Those are the best acrylic ink colors because they're so opaque. But um, what's going on with this arm? It's it's a circular, it's a circular <laughs> arm that does not quite exist in real life. And that's why Marvel hasn't called me. I can fix this, Marvel. I can I can fix it. I, I know anatomy. Come on. Oh, here's a mock. A Moogle. Save Koopa. It's Final Fantasy, if, if you're not in the know. There's TV night in November. Every Thursday, my friend Corey and I have TV night together. I did this drawing where I just blackened out a page and used a uh, bronze sharpie to draw her looking at her phone apparently. Oh, there's uh, Corey's cat Herb. Silver marker now. This is this friggin uh, mouse guy that I draw all the time. I, I drew him in one of my Let's Make Comics episodes. Um, he's the icon has cheese. <laughs> Here he is in kind of a 30s or 40s noir movie with a suit and uh, he's always got the piece of cheese stuck to his teeth. I can ask cheese, baby please. <laughs> he's pretty cool. He's gonna be the one that that really takes off for me. Just watch. So when I was doing the urban sketching uh, my friend Katya had kind of organized the Middletown Sketchers of Connecticut, whatever it's called. Like she made it like an official part of the urban sketching community. And this um, this one was part of their uh, Facebook heading. It might still be there. So the cool thing about the urban sketching was every now and again I'd post something and the urban sketching like main Instagram page would reblog something I had done. So I had maybe like two, three, or four of these drawings um, on their main page, which got like thousands of likes, but never really transferred to much, um, you know, people following me or whatever. I still have zero followers. Unless you follow me, and I thank you for that. I got Steven Universe. That's cute. <laughs> He's back. Here's a... Uh, his I can che has cheese mouse. Don't blame me, as I voted for cheese. Oh god, when is this? 2016, November. <laughs> November of 2016. God, I wish we did vote for that mouse. <laughs> uh. So my friend Corey is obsessed with Teen Witch, the 80s, the 80s movie, which. Uh, to me is mostly famous for the top that um oh my god if you haven't seen top that from teen witch go out of your way to find it on youtube this girl um sees like the coolest boy in school and he's like out there like 80s like b-boy rapping oh by the way i fell on my floor <laughs> and i um i i hurt both my landed on my arms um which is not what you want to do when you're like an artist and, and when you work on chairs all day, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm injured. The coolest boys in school are these white boys like just hip hop dancing like really bad and she just like comes up to them and just starts like freestyle super rapping and oh my god, it's so goofy. Here's uh, I went figure drawing with uh, Ruth and um, 
New Britain. And they had this guy that looks like he came right out of the Civil War or something. <laughs> I think I drew him like three different times. Um, this is pretty cool though. There's a lot of cross hatching and colored pencils going. Remember it was a snowy day. It was pretty packed. It was really nice. It was a nice day. Oh, here he is again with the um, with the FW acrylic inks, opaque ink. That's uh. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, <laughs> and we got sketchbook dissections in here. Perfect. Well, that's about as far as I got with my ledger art experiment, circa 2016, and a brief jump into 2020. But uh, yeah, if you can find a good old ledger. You know, something from the 80s or before. Kind of cool to uh, just paint over it and let the textures come through. And it's a, it's a nice, you know, you get some art, art cred. You get some artist street cred. I, I tell you, when I walk around with, when I walk around with this puppy, people are like, oh, he's a, he's a friggin' artist. This, this kid's for real. He's got a goddamn double entry ledger. He knows what's up. All right, everybody, this ledger has been dissected. Like, comment, subscribe, follow on social media. Check out haveheartcomic.com or just follow me on any of my social medias and I'll, I'll tell you all about it and show you some art and everything. Um, it's my big project for the year and it's, it's gonna be awesome. It is awesome. It's, it's, it's awesome up here and, and now it's gonna be awesome on paper and on the internet. It's going to be awesome in three places. Can't top that. Top that. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Nick Nocturne here, the voice of MCTV Local 13. Humbly requesting a like, comment, or subscribe. We'll go full Neapolitan and do all three. Mm, ice cream.